So guys, Steampunk Gamer Girl here. We are back with Borderlands 2 and obviously Creepy Valencourt there. Hey there. We were just checking out some of this stuff. Hey there, people. Aren't you pretty today? Stop it. You said I was creepy. You are creepy. You're always creepy. Right, so, what do we have mission-wise? Just that. Are we going to check for... There seems to be a mission over here. Hello? I'm a coming. Is it you? Oops. Wrong button. I require nothing from you, other than that you please stay a safe distance away from me. I am known to box. There's Lilith of Pion. Oh, Lilith. K.A. the Firehawk. Like the Firehawk. I forgot there was an upstairs to this place. Wanna break some stuff? Anything fun? Yeah. Incinerator plate. So I kind of inspired a cult, and not the fun ask you for autographs kind. I need you to infiltrate the children of the Firehawk and find out if they're planning anything shady. I'd do it myself, but I'm kind of worried they'd freak out if they saw their god in person. Go talk to the cult's leader, Incinerator Clayton. Oh yes, I finally recovered from my sore throat. I just have a pesty pesky cough that goes with it now. Well, that comes after. I have cream soda. I love cream soda. Orange soda. Cream soda. I don't like any kind of... Well, I don't like cream soda and I don't like just... I suppose it's plain soda, isn't it? I don't really know. Soda soda. <laughs> I don't know if soda's any different. What flavor soda is that? Soda flavor. I don't know if soda is any different from, you know, standard fizzy drinks. No, because whenever um, you hear of most sodas, they always have like a, like orange soda is orange flavored soda. So, soda soda. I guess. I don't really know. I don't know, I only ever heard soda really discussed by Americans. Mm. So it confuses me. Like, the insistence on using an F rather than a PH. Gosh sake, Leo. Shh. <laughs> I'll have to edit that out now. Hey, you won't. Um. Hi there. I am Incinerator Clayton. I witnessed you enter the lair of the Firehawk and return unharmed. If you truly wish to serve our mother, you must pass a test. Use a fire weapon to send my brothers to the Eternal Flame. Then collect their ashes and return them to me. Huh. Burning people alive is mildly shady, but these cultists sound like they want it. Which is weird. Do what he asks, I guess. I hope you got a fire weapon. I do not have a fire weapon, do you? Yes. I have an explodey one. That doesn't count. Well, you're gonna have to do most of the killing in this next part, I imagine, then. You doing that? Shut up! Should I just not get involved? Just yeah, heal. you can say, oh dear. I'll heal you when necessary. This is probably gonna be very nasty. I could because I'm trying to use a fire weapon against people that are immune to fire. Here you go. I'll just collect the rashes. So every shot was bloody wasted. There you go, I got this guy down for you. What? What? What just happened? I accidentally killed him. Yeah, no matter. 
Oh, my barrel reloaded, so I threw the gun at him. We have Akers. Right, let's go return these ashes. Oh, ran into a wall. <laughs> you do, do you hear? Hi. Money. These children now know an ecstasy I can only dream of. Thank you, Tor. Return to me for further trials. Unfortunate news, Torch. There are idolaters among us. Children who have betrayed their one true mother, the Firehawk. They follow a heathen demigod known as Storm. I love that shade of purple. Destroy this pretender and all those who follow him. Who cares if they worship somebody else? Look, just play along. Clayton needs to trust you completely. If they've been doing anything that we need to stop, that's the only way you'll hear about it. Okay. Oh, oh. oh god. Oh. oh, right in the face. My gun just bounces off him. Here we go. Do you want to come open his back? Oh, what? A loot goon. Ooh. Means, a bit of chest on him. <laughs> Not the moxie kind of chest either. Ooh. What have we got? Flammatory Aegis. Banditty Megamum. Are they a bunch of pistols and one shotgun? Yes. I'm loving my shotgun. Well, I love my previous shotgun. This new one's taking a bit to get used to. There he is. Yes, let us you out, that person. Well, we can go deal with, um, this be to incinerate a Clayton. Yeah, jump, don't fall like I did. These people are weird, but they only seem to hurt themselves and that Scorch guy. Maybe we should just leave him alone. The enkindling is almost upon us, Torch! But the Firehawk spoke to me in a dream and demanded another sacrifice. No, I didn't. The burning of her favorite son, the midget known as Magstick. You must take him to the Soaring Dragon in the Southern Shelf and incinerate him within the jaws of the great mechanical beast who dwells there. I want to see the pain! Matchstick is our most I got Matchstick. Is he actually on my back? More than a hundred no. For the fire How the hell does he fit in my pocket? He's a midget. A hundred people? Okay, that's impressive. I mean, they were probably just other members of the cult, right? Right? 
You keep going, I'll catch up. That looks like a fun ice slide. Except for that ridge there. Then it's a fun death slide. At least it's still fun. Say what? Ah, oh, Boom's back! This is Boom. Boom's out. I want a jet pack. Well, Just a bunch of lobbed grenades. So I picked them up. <coughs> Anybody need some healing? Almost there. Oh, what happened? You shot the the electro shot barrel. I've forgotten what they're called now. I think it's called a barrel. No, it has um. Thingy. It's a shock barrel. I don't know how they might have barrel electricity, but in this case they do. Poop boots. Uh, hello, Maxi. Hello, Maxi. I wonder if the folks at Gearbox were disappointed when people rolled their default Nazi. Probably not. Like the people at like Who Made Bayonetta was disappointed when they rolled 34 her. It's just a bunch of shields. Yeah, but to be honest, you make a super sexy character. I mean, her character is literally naked. She strips herself to be able to conjure, like, the demon things that she uses. I've forgotten what they're called. Demons? Is that just it? I thought there was something special, but never mind. But yeah, she literally goes naked at that point, but he got offended because, you know, people found that sexually appealing. You know? It's yeah, stupid. The, uh, demons weren't the only monsters she was unleashing when she stripped. What? The demons weren't the only monsters she was unleashing when she stripped. <laughs> no, but you get what I mean with that, yeah? I know what you mean. Yeah. It's like, how can you expect people not to do that when you're... By having your character pretty much appear naked, you're inviting them to do that, I suppose. The irony is, the man who was disappointed was a Japanese businessman. Japan with the most perverted culture known on the planet. How can you be 100% sure of that? Well, given the fact he had a Japanese name. Because he could just be... No, I mean about the Japanese being the most perverted culture. You can't just say stuff like that. I'm sorry, I'm just based going off the reputation.
Yeah, but is there any fact to back that statement up? Is what I'm saying. Whoa! You mean aside from the uh, galleries of the living galleries of naked woman, but yeah, true. And the whole octopus thing, but that that is the land where um, strange fetishes originate. Yeah, true, I suppose. And yes, they have contributed some great things to the world. They've also contributed some terrible things to the world. Yeah, but to be fair, if they didn't do it, someone in Britain or America would have eventually created it. Probably. Wow. Look, a gun. Is it blue? Yeah. Murderous tinderbox. That is a like a knockoff version of Flint's tinderbox. Also with very bad spells. Right, where do we put him? Back here. Hi, Captain. Okay, angry burning midget. Here we come. Ooh, let me see. Let me see. Burn, burn child. That was kind of weird. She should totally have that as a ringtone. I have cream soda. <laughs> 